Well, growing up in Dublin, I was surrounded by great radio in the, the 1980s. Dublin was a place that was buzzing with good radio stations, Nova, Sunshine, lots of the other big pirate stations. I always wanted to be a journalist, though. I, I didn't have any ambitions to be a DJ back in the beginning. And when I left school in 1982, the options in terms of college courses were really very limited. There was a, a journalism course at Rap Mines College, which I tried to get into, but I think there were 300 people looking for the course that year and uh, I didn't make it. So I kind of turned, turned my head away and, and just went into the IT business. And um, Ireland going through the recession in the 80s, I found myself going over to the UK to get better work. And uh, once I was in the UK, again, you know, seeking out the good radio stations, I came across Caroline, which was beaming in from outside the UK and sounding really good as a listener. <clears throat> but I still had a bit of a hankering to get involved with media in some way. And radio in, in the UK was very, very different from how it is now. Uh, it was highly regulated and there was very little of it. Basically, the regulations that were in the UK at the time in the 1980s, there was a BBC with Radio 1 and then there was one music station allowed for each different local area in the country. So there was one music radio station in London. I mean, a city of 10 million people had one music station. But even then, uh, there was a law in place at the time called Needle Time. And what it meant was that you couldn't have your needle on the record for more than 12 hours in any 24 hour period. Um, this was, it's it dated from the 1930s. And uh, an Irish guy uh, called Ronan O'Reilly had an idea of putting a ship out at sea in international waters. So outside British jurisdiction where the law didn't apply. And from that ship with a high power transmitter, you could reach land and you could just play music, 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 music with just a, a minimum of chat, basically radio as it is today. The government didn't like Caroline. You know, they legislated against it. They made it illegal to advertise. They made it illegal to supply it. So we were pretty isolated out there. So the life was strange. The life was really weird. You went out to the ship. There was a supply boat once every two weeks. And once that supply boat disappeared over the horizon, you didn't see another human being for a whole two weeks other than the 11 other people who were on the ship with you. So you had to like each other because if you didn't get on, uh, you know, you'd be at each other's throats within a matter of days. Mm -hmm.